Next topic is classification of polygons. Now what is meant by a polygon? A polygon is a simple closed figure made up of line segments. If the simple closed figure is made up of line segments, we can call it as a polygon. And we can see that triangles, quadrilaterals, all these are made up of line segments. So we can call them as a polygons. What about a circle? Circle is not a polygon. And a polygon has the same number of angles as it has sides. So if, it, if the polygon has three sides, it will have three angles. If the polygon has four sides, it will have four angles. Now a polygon is named according, according to the number of sides. So the polygon is named, we have to give the name to the polygon depending upon the number of sides. If there are three sides, we will call it as triangle. If it has four sides, we can call it as a quadrilateral. Now look at that, we have a different types of polygons depending upon the number of sides. If it has a three sides, it will be triangle, four sided polygons are known as quadrilateral, then five sided, it will be pentagon, six sided, hexagon, seven sides, heptagon, eight sides, octagon, nine sides, nonagon, and 10 sides, it is known as a decagon. Again, so we are giving the names to the polygon depending upon the number of sides. So a name of the polygon, triangle, three sides. Now look at the example also. It is a simple closed figure made up of three line segments, quadrilateral, four sides. You can see the four sides. Then pentagon, how many sides will be there? Five sided figure. So you can draw a five sided figure and this will be a closed figure and made up of line segments only. Then uh, we can say that it will be a pentagon. Hexagon, six sides. Then heptagon, number of sides is seven. So you can count the number of sides and here you can see that there are seven sides. So we can name it as a heptagon. Then octagon means it will be 8 sides. Nonagon, 9 sides will be there. And decagon, we have a 10 sides. And more than that also, we can name it and generally we will call it as a N gun. If it is a 20 sided polygon, we will call it as a 20 gun. 20 gun, N gun. N gun, 11 onwards, we can say that it is a 11 gun, 12 gun. Like that we can name it. Then next is regular polygons. We have regular polygons and irregular polygons. When we can say that a polygon is regular, if its sides are equal, are equal in length and angles are equal in measure, all the sides are of same length and all angles are also equal then we can say that it will be a regular polygon. Now consider uh, the a regular polygon. Here we can call equilateral triangle. So all the triangles we cannot say that they are regular. Only equilateral triangle we can say that it will be a regular polygon. Regular polygon, equilateral triangle. Regular polygon of uh, three sides. Regular polygon of uh, three sides. So it will be equilateral triangle. All sides are of a same length. Equilateral triangle. And what about the angles? Each angle is equal to 60 degree. So equilateral triangle is a regular polygon. All the triangles are not regular polygons. Only equilateral triangle is a regular polygon. Now, if all sides are equal in length and all angles are equal in measure, now consider the square. Each angle is equal to 90 degree. And what about the length of the sides? All sides are of a same measure or same length. For example, if here it is 5 centimeter, all sides are of a 5 centimeter. And each angle is equal to 90 degree. Therefore, 
a square is a regular polygon regular polygon of four sides so it is a regular quadrilateral we can say that a square is a regular quadrilateral or a regular polygon because in the case of square all sides are of a same length and each angle is equal to 90 degree now number of sides and a regular polygon when you look into the regular polygon the shape will be like this and irregular polygon means uh, the length of the sides are different and the angles are also different therefore the shapes will come in this way and uh, if it is regular all sides are of a uh, same length and when we draw regular polygons of a uh, five sides the shape will be like this and a six sided hexagon you will get the shape in this way and if it is not regular we can draw in any way and we can draw in any shape but it should be a closed figure and it should uh, consist of a uh, six line segments that only you have to look into now homework exercise 5.8 question numbers 192 in your textbook some figures are given you have to name the figures and uh, as well as you have to look into whether it is a polygon or not so that's all for today's class thank you